All right. All right, folks, we have our timer. Let's try to stick to it. Can you please introduce yourself? Sure. Um, my name is Louise Martindale, and I am the one of two art teachers at the high school. And I teach right now, I'm teaching concepts in art, sculpture, and ceramics this year. So we have, I think, a super awesome fine arts department at the high school theater, music, band, chorus, we've got it all. Um, and the visual arts is taught by myself and Lisa Leary. And I get a lot of the freshmen and sophomores. Concepts in art is kind of the gateway course to any other visual arts class. So if you're gonna take art, you're gonna take it with me first. Yeah, and you know, it's such a strong community. The, the kids who are really into creating art, it's like a very distinct, group of kids like absolutely really yeah. Dedicated. Yeah. yeah there's um you know northampton's kind of i would say like a funky arts hot spot you know mm -hmm. there's a lot of art a lot of culture um and a lot of the students that come through the high school you know it's not necessarily about being an artist but it's kind of about like i don't know accessing your inner creativity and there's a lot of skills that you get in those studio classes that are applicable to anything you do, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a lot of problem solving. You know, when you're when you're working on a piece of clay or working on a canvas, you're you're really thinking. So, yeah. what do you like about teaching freshmen? Oh my goodness. Um, I like freshmen. Well, <laughs> freshmen they're fresh, right? They come in. <laughs> We're new, we're vulnerable. Um, and I like to think of the students that come into the high school kind of as an open canvas, right? And we're all figuring out who we are. I'm still figuring out who I am, right? Yeah. And I think when we come to the high school, we're at a time where we're kind of an open book. And so I love teaching freshmen because they always surprise me. And I feel that I'm learning more as a human and I'm growing more as a human every day because there's so much they have to give to me. And so it's a real reciprocal relationship. There's um, a lot of risk taking that happens in my classes, um, a lot of surprise, a lot of experimentation. And I think freshmen are just at that time where they're willing to try anything, which I, it's just so, so inspiring. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is so cool. It's By the so way, it reminds me of that. Do you ever see that movie, Six Degrees of Separation? With Kevin Bacon? No, no, no. no. That's different. That's, That's Six different. Degrees of Kevin yeah. Bacon. But yeah. No, I have. You should check it out sometime. This guy, at one point, he has this dream. Yeah. And he's an art dealer. And he's, he's yeah. dreaming about his kid's school. And he's talking to the art teacher. And he says, why is it that your kids... Um, all their artwork is just genius, you know? Right. Like, and it's in it's second grade or something like that. And then how do you make that, how do you make them do that art? And, and mm -hmm. the teacher says, I don't, I don't tell them what to do with their art. I just know when to take it away from them. Yeah. <laughs> Which is an interesting kind of scene. Yeah. I'll, I'll send it to you on I'd YouTube. I'd love to see that, yeah. Yeah, it's a great movie. It's a lot about art in that movie. Yeah. It's, it's interesting too, because you know, a lot of students when they come to me, there's, there's often a lot of fear, you know, and I think with anything, with any subject matter, but with art, I see a lot of freshmen coming in and, you know, oh, I, I, I can't draw. I don't know how to draw. Yeah. And what I try to teach them is that it's not about learning how to draw. It's really about learning how to see. And it's not about what you're drawing or what you're rendering or what you're making it's about observation and so kind of just changing the mindset and i think that's kind of a similar concept there yeah totally a yeah. lot of analysis i think there's a lot of uh in history we do a lot of art analysis that's something i always do because and that's just looking and seeing like what is this painting showing us right now awesome yeah propaganda right propaganda. What, 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 maoist propaganda what is that saying what, what are they using there's some really great Maoist propaganda posters that are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not a Maoist, but I, the, the <laughs> posters are good. Um, just one last quick question, or it doesn't even have to be that quick, but what were you like as a freshman? Ah, well, I went to Northampton High School. Ah. And I went through the art department at Northampton High School, and um, I was super shy. I was the wallflower. 
I, you know, I had my small group of friends, but I was, you know, not one to talk to a lot of people, walked around with my head down um, with my art portfolio. You know, I knew back then that art was kind of my escape, my savior is what kind of kept me focused. Yeah. Um, and so I, w I was that person, that shy person, very shy to speak up in class. And I used art to kind of get my voice to come out. And so I think, you know, it was interesting you talk about the, the Maoist posters because, you know, thinking about art as a mode for communication and the way we all communicate so differently. Um, and so that was kind of the vehicle where I was able to find my voice and that's so cool. myself. Yeah. That's so cool. Well, you've totally broken out of your shell, which is awesome. Yeah. yeah. To be a teacher, you kind of have uh, to. It's really it's such a great profession. It really is. Yeah. All right. Well, if you guys have uh, Louise, you're very lucky and you'll be seeing her shortly. Yes. And uh, We'll look for her on the screen for now and then in person later. Absolutely. Can I add one more thing? Yeah, absolutely. I'm also um, the art club advisor and the ceramic yeah. club advisor. So look for announcements because even if you're not signed up to take an art class this year and you're eager to get your hands messy and be creative and get inspired, um, we're going to be doing some sort of virtual Zoom art clubs to begin cool. with. Cool. And yeah. awesome. And you can totally do like exquisite corpse stuff and there's all kinds yeah. of fun stuff Absolutely. you can do. Yeah. yeah. Now the, the other thing is, is that we're going to, the page for the clubs is going to be updated in present and all that because all this is still happening. Yeah. Awesome. So I'm glad you mentioned it. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Thanks, all right. Bill. Thank you.